gentlemen, I am the Heyman Eric Johnson on commentary here for our opening bout to Viola TV this week, featuring The Fog taking on Silent Graves in a two-on-one handicap matchup. Now, folks, if you remember quite a few weeks back there, we saw Silent Graves turn his back on The Fog after losing his matchup for the IDB Championship against Aftershock out of America. Well, now Silent Graves is out to punish The Fog here, but I don't know if how the numbers game is going to work here, seeing as The Fog is, has a two-on-one advantage over Silent Graves. Silent Graves, though, has the experience advantage over The Fog and, of course, is their former leader, so knows probably a lot of the weaknesses and strengths going into this matchup. Big stomp across the ankle. As you see, Silent Graves is on the attack here on Scully of the Fog. Humorous at, on the corner there, waiting for the tag. As Scully's getting pounded on by Silent Graves. Silent Graves stepping on his bony hand and stomps right across it. Silent Graves, obviously very upset he did not capture the IDB Championship and is now back at the bottom of the, uh, of the barrel, so to speak, here, trying to get a title shot, as he's laying those kicks in the midsection of Scully. And of course, that's a long way to the top, so if Silent Graves wants another title shot, he's gonna have to earn it, as he knees Scully right across the face. You see Humorous pointing at Silent Graves as he lays in another knee across Scully's face here. There is a two-on-one handicap match, but Scully and Humorous must tag back and forth to enter this matchup. And that was only a two count there by referee Joey Gleed says, Silent Graves applying a chin lock now on, on uh, Scully of the Fog. Now the Fog was only trying to do what Graves wanted them to do, um, which was try to help Silent Graves capture that enemy championship. After some miscommunication, Graves took his anger out on the Fog, and he's doing it right now to Scully with that big clothesline across the face. Silent Graves hurt his arm on the clothesline. It's how hard he hit him. And now you see Scully trying to fight back with so shots in the midsection here. Whips Silent Graves in. Now Scully on the attack for the first part of this matchup. What's he gonna do here? He's whipping Graves into his own buckle. Now they have him right where they want him in their corner. And this might spell the end for Graves. If he can't get out of that corner, you see Humorous playing the kicks. And up goes Scully. Oh, but he's caught by Silent Graves. Graves plants him with the power bomb on top of Humorous. Humorous is down. You see Silent Graves taking off his, his overcoat there, and he's obviously meaning being in business at this point. As it looks like Silent Graves has got Humorous here, the legal man, clubbing shot to the back. You see Scully crawling here pretty much to the corner after that power bomb on top of his tag team partner. Folks, I am being told in my headset that later on in the episode, we still have our main event going on, which is going to be for the IDB Championship as Mr. Canada, Ricky Williams, will try to recapture what he never lost. That's his IDB Championship as he'll take on at the shock. Adam Ricker, folks, stay tuned for that. Side of Graves, sizing up his opponent in the corner, telling him to get up. He's getting up. Oh, shotgun dropkick in the corner. And down goes Humorous. Humorous in a wall that hurt here. And uh, oh, hang time drop kick, and now Humorous is in a world of pain here, dra getting dragged to the middle. Going for a pin now, Silent Graves, but Scully in to break that up, not gonna let that happen. Epic main event coming close for that IDP Championship match. Don't go anywhere. We're gonna stick right here though with this handicap matchup. And Silent Graves is in control of Humorous here. Grabbing a hold of the arm and applying the arm wrench. And now Silent Graves wrenching on the arm of Humorous. Humorous trying to get his arm back from Silent Graves. We're using his hair, pulling him into the corner. That is one way to do so. Oh, big shot to the face. Oh, another one. And Silent Graves is rocked and now getting whipped once again into the corner of the fog. Now the fog is in control here. What's going to happen? I don't know what I see Silent Graves in the corner. Oh, he got his feet up. But you see Humorous caught him. He swings him around. What's going to Oh, a backbreaker. And now what's going to Oh, and a senton combination by the Fog. Tag team wrestling at its finest here, folks, on side of Graves. One, two, no! Joey Gleek says two. The Fog, the Fog had it with that one. That was an interesting tag team combination. The Fog side looked like he had this match up one, but right now Scully going to work on side of Graves with that, that Russian leg sweep, putting him down, grabbing both legs. One, two, not enough. So far, it's been a great episode so far, folks. But of course, in our main event is Mr. Canada, Ricky Williams, challenging IDB champion Aftershock, Adam Ricker for the IDB championship, folks. Don't go anywhere. It's going to be a great matchup. 
I'm all speaking to We're going to go to an interview shortly after this matchup with the one and only Gangrel, former WWE superstar and former leader of the brood. And right here, oh, what's going to happen here? It looks like ta another tag here by Scully the Humorous. Look at him here. Double drop kicks, but one to the face and looks like one to the arm. They didn't get all of it. it is, uh, Scully kicks Graves in the face. Humorous kicked him in the arm. Didn't get what they were planning on that one, but they still delivered quite an impact to Graves. And Graves is now down, getting pumped away by Humorous. Humorous in control now, grabbing him, setting him up here. What's he going for here? Looks like he might set him up for a little suplex action, planting him down, rolls through. Oh, a little bit of a smile, and then now punches to the face of Silent Graves. Pin here by Humorous. One, two, no. Of course, folks, for more information on pertaining to the IWE and its events, visit us at our website, www.iwrestlinge.com, and Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at IWE Maine. Uh, folks, great IWE events are all over the state of Maine. Don't miss your opportunity to see IWE live and in person. And of course, you're whipping the buckle by Humorous, and now he tags in Scully. Scully coming in here. Frequent tags by the Fog is making this matchup obviously not look so well for Sider Graves. And Sider Graves is getting worked on the corner with a choke with him with the foot. And from now, she being choked here by Humorous as the referee's back is turned, and that is legal. The referee is going to see it and can't call it. And right now, Sider Graves being teamed up on this two on one advantage. The Graves signed on the dotted line for this matchup, so I guess that's his own fault as he's taking on the Fog by himself. Graves now getting picked up by Scully. Scully, what's he gonna do here? Brings him out to the middle. Picks him up for a body slam and plants him down. And you see Scully, a little wobbly leg, but going over to the corner here. Is he gonna go up top? Looks like Scully's going to the top rope. I'm not sure what Scully's going for, but Graves gets up, catches him, hooks him. What's it? Japanese arm drag off the top rope. And down goes Scully. Both men are down here. Referee Joey Gleets applying a 10 count. If neither man respond to this 10 count, this match might go to a no contest. Sally Graves rolling around the back here uh, on the mat here. Obviously his back and his neck are obviously in a lot of pain. And you see Scully trying to reach his partner Humorous in the corner, but Graves does not have anybody to tag here. Graves is all by himself. So at this point, Graves really needs to get up first. Oh, a tag made, here comes Humorous. But Graves is up to his feet and he hates clothesline to Humorous. And a back elbow for Scully. And another clothesline for Humorous. And a, oh, a shot to the head there by Sather Graves. Now he's grabbing Scully here. What's he gonna do? Sets him up. Well, Has him hooked here. He's going for a DDT. No, suplex and a release. And Scully is down and Humorous is down in the corner. Graves is still in control here. He needs to do something. He sees, uh, he sees Humorous, grabs him, has him setting him up here for something. Humorous shoves him off. Oh, basement dropkick takes out the legs of uh, Humorous. And that usually is the setup for that mini DDT that Graves likes to use here. He has him set here, plants him with the DDT. A nip up from Graves. Hooks him for another. Oh, catches Scully too. Double DDT. Both men are down. Inside the Graves trying to get the fans robbed behind him, I guess, at this point. The fans are quite split between Inside the Graves and the Fog. They don't know who to cheer for and who to boo. And I don't really blame them at this point. Um, at this point, I, I'm not even sure. This is one of those things where this is a more of a, uh, a personal issue between the two groups, I guess you could say. And, uh, and we're just going to see what happens. We're going to see who comes down on top. Oh, Graves went for the death drop DDT. But Scully in to make the save, but that pump kick knocking down Graves. Humorous trying to take advantage, going for the pin. One, two, no! Joey Gleet says two. Side of Graves is down here, and you see Humorous going over to his partner, trying to and try to come up with some type of game plan here. They have Graves down, tag is made, and in comes Scully. Scully now going to work on the leg, and I guess that's their plan of action is to attack the leg of Sider Graves. If he can't stand, he can't hit the death drop DDT, which is finishing maneuver. You can see there, Sider Graves trying to shake the pain away on his leg, and that ain't gonna work just like that. Scully whips him over, and now pushes him in the butt of the ropes, whips him off, reversal by Sider Graves. Oh, gets kicked up. Oh, it's Gary the back of the head, and a drop kick. Puts down Sider Graves. What a combination from the tag team of the Fog. 
That goes to show you what a numbers game is going to play in here. One, two, again, two count, says Joey Gleets, our referee. I really thought the, that the fog had it there with that combination. Very impressive there by the fog. And now humorous wobbly leg comes in here. Uh, and he's grabbing a hold of Graves. He's rolling them over. I'm not sure what they're going for here. Obviously, some type of tag team maneuver once again. And another tag here as Scully comes back in. They're setting up for something here. I'm not sure what they're going for here. Wheelbarrow up, swings them around into the splash. Oh, but Graves gets his legs up. And I don't think Humor is meant to do that. Humor is getting out of dodge. He is not the legal man. As Scully is the legal man at this point. The tag was blatantly made. You see, you know, CC Graves telling Joey Beats to get one of these guys in here so his match can continue on. But both members of the fog are trying to gain the composure outside the ring. Oh, there's a boot for Humorous. And of course, there's Scully trying to grab at Graves. Graves grabs him, pulls him up on the apron here. Scully is the legal man. Graves trying to go after the legal man here and bring him inside with a suplex. Down goes Scully. Graves in control here. He can finish off Scully, and this could be it if he gets a, if he takes the advantage and hits that death drop DDT. But right now he's just choking away at Scully. Obviously some anger and frustration setting in and, and for side of Graves. He needs to have a cool head and come out on collectively on this one if he wants to come out the winner. Scully is down now. A pin. One, two, no. Kick out from Scully. Graves needs to do a lot more than that. Oh, slap to the face. Scully trying to trying to fight back against Graves. Graves has him by the arm, bringing him back up here. Let's see, he's right. Uh oh, he's looking over at Humorous. He knows what he's doing. He's setting him up for the death drop EDT. This is the finishing move of Graves. Oh, and down comes Scully. Grabs the leg. One, two, and Humorous didn't make the save. Otherwise, this match would have been over. Tyler Graves had this thing won if it wasn't here. Humorous coming back in here to make the save for Scully. Tyler Graves obviously tired. The numbers game is playing a factor in this. He, he's obviously very tired and exhausted. Fighting two men at once is not the easiest thing to do. And right now, the fog is in control. Scully makes a tag to Humorous. Humorous coming in here. Scully grabbing a hold of Graves, bringing him over to the ropes. What's he going to do here? Scully launches Graves into Humorous. A little push. Oh, and a tilt and wall slam. And that looks like it might be it here for Graves. One, two, three. That tilt to world sidewalk slam puts out Tyler Graves and the Fog has defeated Tyler Graves on this episode of IWTV. But at this time, folks, I'm being told in my headset that my main man, the captain, is out back with former WWE superstar and former leader of the brood, Gangrel, about an upcoming matchup next week here on IWTV. Let's send it all back. Here's some words from Gangrel and... The captain, take it away, fellas. Next week on Fox 22 Bangor, it's going to be the immortal vampire warrior Gangrel versus Tyler Graves. Gangrel, it's an honor and a privilege to have you here, sir. And I want to get your thoughts on that match. <laughs> Graves, we're going to do a little fanging and banging, so you better bring your A game because I'm coming to bleed you out. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Next week on IDB TV, it will be Graves taking on Gang Growl. But right now, folks, we're going to tell you about our upcoming show on Saturday, March 26th, in Brumane at City Sign Restaurant. Come out and see all the stars of the IDB live in person on Saturday, March 26th, in Brumane at City Sign Restaurant, 7.30 bell time. Tickets ten dollars for ringside, eight dollars for general mission. Don't miss it. But at this time, we're gonna send it on back with the captain as he caught up with a very tired, exhausted Tyler Graves. Next week, right here on IWE TV, it's Graves versus the immortal vampire warrior Gangrel. Now, Graves, I know you don't like me. Particularly, I don't care too much for you. But hey, hey, dude, I'm speaking the truth. All right, this is a rare opportunity here for us to, you know, have a platform to speak to the IWE nation. So, why don't you tell me your thoughts on what's happening in your match with Gangrel? Gangrel, I'm going to test how immortal you really are. Come join me in the shadows. Come join me 
in the IWE. And there you have it. That was Graves talking about his match with Gangrel. Tune in, folks. It's going to be a fun. There you have it, folks. Next week here on IWE TV in its main event, we'll feature Siler Graves taking on none other than former WWE superstar Gangrel. Folks, you're not going to miss that. Next week here on IWE TV, and you can catch every episode of IWE TV at our YouTube, just in case you miss it. And our YouTube channel is IWE Main on YouTube. Of course, you can also watch us every Saturday at noon at Fox 22. But now it's main event time. It's, folks, Mr. Canada, Ricky Williams will challenge our current IWE champion, Aksha Adam Ricker, for the IWE championship. So right here, here we go. This match is underway. Your official is Joey Gleets, and Mr. Canada, Ricky Williams, is looking to recapture his IWE championship that he has never lost. Can he do it against after shock Adam Ricker? Let's find out, folks. Adam Ricker has been on a mean streak as of late. He's defeated everybody that's been put in his path. But can he beat the more experienced Mr. Canada, Ricky Williams? We're going to find out. Ricky, obviously, Ricky Williams one-upping Adam Ricker right there, and Adam Ricker getting really, a little bit frustrated and angry. But Adam Ricker has the size and power game. But Ricky Williams has this, the obvious experience in technical game. Who's going to come out? This is going to be a very hard-fought battle. Oh, another paintbrush across the face there from Ricky Williams to after shock Adam Ricker. Another big tie-up. What's going on here? Up and down goes Ricky Williams with that body slam. Out of the power game once again goes to after shock Adam Ricker. Ricky Williams trying to get out of dodge, but he doesn't realize that after shock Adam Ricker is right on his heels. And here he comes. Oh, and those big bear paws to the face. Oh, and on the clubbing low to the back. I don't know why Ricky Williams thought it would be a good idea to go running for the hills. But right now, Aftershock, Adam Ricker going right after him there with that uppercut. <laughs> As you see, Ricky Williams falling on our sound equipment over there. And now getting picked up here. Aftershock, Adam Ricker is not done. But Mr. Canada, he shoves him. And Ricky Williams trying to get out of the way here. Trying to get out of half the shock's path as he rolled in the ring but rolled right back out and that spells bad news it's after shock lays in that big chop and now you see adam ricker has him here another big chop as you see adam ricker is in complete control of ricky williams right now after shock adam ricker getting angry charges in ricky williams moves nobody home as after shock eats the post now ricky williams has him here what's he gonna do shoves him into the post one more time adam ricker eating those posts hard and Ricky Williams breaking the count, rolls back in. He cannot win this matchup. Uh, he can't win this matchup on a count out, but he can't win the title on a count out. The only way to win the IWC Championship is by pinfall or submission. Count outs are not gonna cut it. Well, neither are disqualifications. You see, Ricky Williams has the plan of attack as he's going after the leg of Adam Shock Adam Ricker, hopefully to set up for that single leg crab or the sharpshooter that he likes to use. Right now, it's the leg great bind and is pounding away on the knee of Adam Shock, Adam Ricker. And now, Adam Ricker trying to push away at Ricky Williams. Ricky Williams is in control here. What is he going to do now? Driving the knee into the leg right across the kneecap of Adam Shock, Adam Ricker. Adam Shock, Adam Ricker is in a world of hurt here. Ricky Williams applying pressure and torque to the leg and the knee. Right in the paint rushing across the face. We can't fight back. Ricky Williams now trying to drag after shock Adam Ricker out of the ring. I don't know if this is a good idea. You see Adam Ricker trying to stop him, holding on. Ricky Williams has so far been successful, gets him out there. What's he going to do now? He wraps the leg across that ring apron, which is the hardest part of the ring, folks. Yeah, the ring may have padding on it, but right along the edge of the ring, it's a metal frame, and that's where that leg is hitting, right across the metal frame of the ring and that cannot be good. It is legal, folks, since the ring is a part of the matchup, but that, it does not spell good news for Aftershock Adam Ricker and his leg in his knee. You see Ricky Williams just standing on the leg and then stomping him in the kneecap. And, oh, Ricky Williams isn't done as he lays the leg out across the apron now. What's he gonna do here? He's setting it up. I think he's setting up for his patented, oh, Canada leg drop, and he hits it. Right across the leg, as he sat down right across the leg of Aftershock Adam Ricker. Ricky Williams now climbing back in the ring here. Pushes Aftershock down, goes for a pin, one, two, but of too much power in the arms of Aftershock, shoves off Ricky Williams. Ricky Williams now going right back on the attack of that leg with the chop block, trying to keep Aftershock down. If Aftershock is to get to his feet, that's where his power game comes into play. Right now, Ricky Williams going after it with that single leg crab, 
the Canadian Maple Leaf, as he calls it. And you see here, he's using the ropes for leverage. The referee Joey Gleese tells him to break it here, and of course, he, he breaks it. Ricky Williams does say he has a count of five. That is true. He does have a count of five. Anything past that is considered a disqualification. This match will go to after Shock out of Murphy. This will not be good for Ricky Williams as he will then be no longer in contention for the IWC Championship. Ricky Williams now clubbing blow to the chest of after Shock out of Murphy. Now just, oh, rubbing the tape across the eyes and the face and a chop now to the chest. After shock, Adam Ricker in a world of hurt. His leg obviously in a lot of pain here. Ricky Williams has him in the corner. Ricky Williams climbing up top here. He has gotten on top of after shock, Adam Ricker. What's he gonna do here? He's sending, oh, he's going for punches to the face. But after shock, Adam Ricker shoves him off. Ricky Williams now charging in, but eats the clothesline. Not a lot of power behind it there from Ricker. Ricker obviously still a world of pain here. You see him hobbling. He used the ropes to hold himself up. Comes off with a leg drop. And Ricky Williams is down, and that was with the good leg, thankfully, not the bad leg. But you see here, Aftershock had a leg has a lot of hard time putting any pressure or, or weight on that knee. A very lackadaisical pin, but hey, but hey, you know, that's a pin nonetheless. Right now, Ricker's in a wall to hurt, and he's just trying to get any pin he can at this time. Ricky Williams now getting picked up by Ricker. Ricker gonna lift him up, trying to set him up for the strongest slam. Oh, eye rake by Ricky Williams. And oh, a drop kick to the bad leg sends Ricker into the corner. And folks, one more reminder. Next week here on our main event of IWTV, it'll be former WWE superstar Gang Brown taking on Siler Graves. And of course, will the fog play a factor in this? We saw the fog beat Tyler Graves earlier on in this episode. Will they play a factor in that matchup, folks? Only way to find out is to be here on IWTV next week, Saturday at noon on Fox 22, or at IW YouTube at IDB Main on YouTube. So definitely check that out, folks. Don't miss that great episode coming your way next week. And of course, don't miss our next event, Saturday, March 26th, in Bloor, Maine at Cityside Restaurant, 7.30, bell time. Tickets are on sale now. $10 for ringside, $8 for general admission. Get your tickets while they are available, folks. Ringside sells out quite fast, so get them while you can. Well, there are plenty of general admission seats available, but ringside usually sells out relatively quickly. Ricky Williams off the ropes, big clothesline after shock out of Murphy. He's trying to clothesline him over the top to the floor. No, to no avail. Ricky Williams one more time, but Adam Ricker sidesteps and sends Ricky Williams over the top to the floor. This gives Adam Ricker a much needed break he needs. See, obviously that knee is in a wall of pain at this time. Ricky Williams may not know where he is as he hit the apron hard and is now on the floor. You see Adam Ricker trying to Relax that leg and try to get his composure here. He's obviously in a world of pain with that knee. And Ricky Williams now getting up slowly, but he's up, a little tangled up in the apron of the ring. And obviously upset that he got sidestepped and thrown out of the ring. Ricky Williams trying to climb back up into the ring here. You see Adam Ricker back to his feet. He's hobbling here. He's hobbling around the ring. And obviously Adam Ricker is not a small man, so all that weight is being put in pressure on that knee. Ricky Williams, oh, hangs up Adam Ricker on the top rope. Ricky Williams coming in now, going right after Adam Ricker. Shot to the face. And now trying to put him in the Fujiwara armbar, which is that set up for the Canadian cross face. He's got the Fujiwara locked in, clubbing blows to the shoulder. He's got Ricker down. He's trying to set up for that Canadian cross base, and he's almost got it. Ricker's trying to fight it, trying to put his hand in the way, but Ricky Williams applies it. That, this maneuver has won in many matches in the past, but Adam Ricker, he's trying to fight it. He's so close to the ropes. Ricky Williams applying the pressure with the cross face. This move could win him the championship here, but Adam Ricker is saying no to referee Joey Gleets. You see Ricker, Trying to reach for the rope there. He can't seem to reach it. A pain rake racked across his face as Ricky Williams holding up for dear life. Adam Rigger feeding off this crowd in attendance here. He's fighting his way up. You see him starting to stand up. He's on one knee. See if he can get up to two. He's up to his feet. And sidewalk slam puts down Ricky Williams. Ricky Williams is down. Adam Rigger is down. Referee applying a 10 count here. Obviously, Adam Ricker has been put in a world of hurt here by Ricky Williams with that cross face, and obviously the, the beating that's been laid across his knee. 
but Ricky Williams just had a, about a 400 pound man land across his midsection, knocking the wind out of him. Both men are slowly getting to their feet here. It's a matter of who gets up first to the, the, determine what happens next. Adam Ricker and Ricky Williams are both up. Adam Ricker trying to catch him in the strongest slam. Can't hold on to him. Now you see here, Ricky Williams trying to go for the Fujiwara armbar once again to try to set up for the Canadian cross face. Ricker trying to fight it off and close lines him in half. Ricky Williams doesn't know where he is. You see Adam Ricker in a world of pain here. Trying to hold on the ropes to keep himself standing. As he's hobbling toward the middle of the ring. Oh, barely. Charges in. Splash! But not enough mustard on that one like normal. As you can see, the damage has been done to the knee. Now going for the strongest slam one more time for Ricky Williams. Elbowing Adam Ricker right across the face. Oh, and a freak of the eyes. What's Ricky Williams going for here? Sets him off. Flatliner puts down Adam Ricker. Adam Ricker ate the mat. Ricky Williams has put Ricker down. Now it's a matter of if he can apply the Canadian crossface or go for that sharpshooter that he likes to use. One of the two, if he can do that, he might be able to put out Adam Ricker, but it looks like Ricky Williams is crawling over the corner. I'm not sure what he's going for. He's over in the corner. He's grabbing onto the top rope. Oh my, we might be about to see the diving headbutt. That's another move that Ricky Williams likes to do. He climbs to the top, shades of the dynamite kid. And he's going up to the top here for that diving headbutt and no one's home. Ricky Williams eats the mat as Adam Ricker moves out the way. Adam Ricker trying to get any strength he can from these fans in attendance. He's fired up, he needs a little momentum boost. And he's trying to pull it from these fans here. He's got him coming over here. Here we go. He finally gets him up in the strongest slam. Down goes Ricky Williams. One, two, three. You can count to 100. Because Aftershock Adam Ricker has retained his IWE Championship on this episode of IWE TV, folks. Tune in next week to see former WWE superstar Gangrel take on Silent Graves, folks, in the epic main event next week here on IDB TV, Saturdays at noon on Fox 22, or on IDB's YouTube channel at IDB Main. Thank you for joining us this week, folks. We hope to see you next week on IWE TV.